Welcome to Medical Channel Asia. My name is Dr. Henry Galuba Jr. I'll be discussing hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Hi, I'm Dr. Henry Galuba Jr. I'm a practicing specialist in internal medicine. I joined Dubai in 2012 as the first Philippine internal medicine specialist. I'm currently affiliated with uh, MediClinic uh, Wellcare Hospital Cluster. Okay, so the thyroid is uh, located in the anterior portion of the neck, and this is below our voice box. It sits on top of our windpipe, or what we call trachea. Since it's, in a, since it's an endocrine organ, its main function is to produce thyroid hormones. Now, these thyroid hormones are responsible for metabolism. When we speak of metabolism, this is the process by which uh, food is converted to energy for the body's use. At the same time, it also regulates our heart rate and it regulates the temperature of our body. So hypothyroidism from the word itself, it has a prefix which, which says hypo. Okay, when you say hypo, it means that the thyroid is under functioning or it produces less hormone which the body needs. Okay, some of the signs and symptoms could be dry skin, constipation, fatigue, weight gain. You have also uh, intolerance to cold. So these are the commonly encountered symptoms. Well, hypothyroidism is common to all ages, to all genders and ethnicity. However, they have found out that it's more common in women above 60 and those who are at the postmenopausal state. Okay, when it comes to the causes of hypothyroidism, it could be classified into two. One is uh, primary and the other one is secondary. When you speak of uh, primary causes, it means that the thyroid itself has uh, problems. Okay, and one of the most common causes is called uh, Hashimoto's disease. This is an autoimmune disease. When we say autoimmune, it means that the body itself, the body's immune system, destroys the thyroid uh, tissue. So once this is uh, destroyed, it will be hypofunctioning. And uh, this is uh, found out to be hereditary and uh, it runs in uh, families. Then when it comes to the secondary causes, when you say secondary, it means extra thyroid or it's uh, beyond the thyroid. So when you say secondary, this is a dysfunction of uh, an organ in the brain, which is called the pituitary. Okay, studies have found out that pregnant women are very prone to hypothyroidism because this is the time that the Hashimoto's disease sets in. So as I mentioned a while back, it's the most uh, common cause. Now for pregnant women, it's very important to, to diagnose the presence of hypothyroidism, primarily because the thyroid hormones are important in the development of the brain and the central nervous system of the body. That's why uh, if a pregnant woman goes for a prenatal checkup, this is one of the tests that they do check because without correcting hypothyroid in pregnancy, it can cause uh, miscarriage at the same time preterm labor. Okay, OCPs or what we call oral contraceptive pills do affect the thyroid function, primarily because the OCPs contain uh, estrogen and progesterone. Now, this uh, these hormones affect the binding of the thyroid hormone to its uh, receptors. Therefore, uh, if women are taking contraceptives, uh, the, the, the dosage of their medications are adjusted, okay? You need a higher dose. So once they are weaned off from the OCPs, that's the time then we decrease the dose. Now for men, the cause is called secondary cause because the, the pituitary gland, which is located in the brain, it is responsible for releasing what we call a thyroid stimulating hormone. Now, they have found out that uh, men who have dysfunction of the anterior pituitary also has less uh, testosterone uh, production. Therefore, this uh, low testosterone can lead to erectile dysfunction. Okay, in the diagnosis of uh, hypothyroidism, it is very important to get a detailed history of the patient. At the same time, you have to correlate with the uh, physical examination. 
Now, there's a simple test which will determine if you have a thyroid uh, problem. And this is called your TSH, okay? The TSH or your thyroid stimulating hormone is inversely proportional to the activity of the thyroid. Meaning to say, if you have hypothyroidism, the THS is, TSH is high. Okay, for hypothyroidism, since there is a lack or low levels of uh, your thyroid hormones, the main treatment is for thyroid uh, replacement therapy. Okay, there's a medication which is called levothyroxine and uh, this is uh, given to patients with hypothyroidism. Again, the dosage will depend on your presenting symptoms and your body weight. Now, the bad news is that uh, hypothyroid is not preventable. So even lifestyle modification, it, it wouldn't uh, prevent it. Because I mentioned that majority of its cause is uh, hereditary. Okay, so what is important is to be able to recognize the signs and symptoms. And once you have it, you have to consult your doctor so that certain tests will be done.